In this video, we're going to cover the Egyptian pyramid, the Greek pyramid, the Hebrew pyramid, the Hindu pyramid, and the Arabic or Islamic pyramid. I want to skip this video, just read this article where these images came from. To begin with, the following diagram shows how 28 Egyptian letter numbers became a Phoenician alphabet, Greek alphabet, and a Latin alphabet. So the question is, how did over a thousand Egyptian hieroglyphs become or become 28 Phoenician Greek letters? To explain quickly, this was done mathematically. Here we see letter A, which was defined as the first letter, value 1. Here we see the sickle, which is letter M, with a, a value of 40. It's the moral letter, and it is the 13th letter. Here we see letter R, which has a value of 100, and it's the 19th letter, and is the most powerful letter in the alphabet, conceptualized as the ram horn in the sun, it's spring equinox. Other letters include the lotus, which is the 28th and last letter. This was or became the alpha or comma alpha in the Greek alphabet. And this reduces, according to modular 9, math to 1. So in other words, the sun is born out of the tip of the rising lotus, and it goes back or transforms back into the letter 1 or the solar air hole. The focus of this video, however, will be to explain how throughout all of the religions of the world a moral God or God who defines the laws has to climb on top of a letter R mountain. There's the ram horn from the tomb UJ number tags, value 100. So a lawgiver has to climb on a letter R mountain, the, aka the pyramid in the original Egyptian sense, and get letter M morals. This is the sickle. The fourth column is the so-called morality column of the periodic table. Letter four is the delta. Letter 22 is the shoe moral support pillar. So we have value of 4, 40, and 400. And the value of 400 plus 40 is the base of Khufu pyramid. So Egyptian civilization was built on the foundation of the morality of the sickle, which is the tool used to cut crops, meaning that food will be on the table for the next year. In our first pyramid diagram, we see the eight water gods called the Agdod define the beginning of the Egyptian cosmos. This transforms into the letter O ocean ring of the TO map of the Egyptian cosmos, which is letter O. The 16th letter, 
that has even a value of 70, and also the fresh water or melting Ethiopian, Ethiopian mountain snow water of the end bend of the Nile, which is the 14th letter, has a value of 50. Horus has a value of 10, as a falcon shown here. And then we see the ram horn in the sun, or Ra, which has a value of 100. And this sums to the word pyramid. P is 17th letter, has a value of 80, and it is the base of the eye of Ra, and it refers, or it is the symbol of the Ankh, which is the Polaris pole, and the Djed, which is the equatorial pole, which is out of alignment by 23 degrees. And the Egyptians believed that when this pole gets raised at the end of the year, like we raise our Christmas trees, that the two poles become aligned and the universe gets stabilized. Here's the U shoe pillar, which refers to the choices you make. The right branch refers to right choices. The left branch refers to wrong choices you make in your existence. And here's letter R, or the ram horn in the sun. Value 1 lettered A is number 1, letter A. Here's letter M, value 40. And then I is the 10th letter, value 10, or Horus the falcon. So we get Pirami, and the sum of these letters equals 631. This got copied over into Greek mythology, or the Greeks. <clears throat> when they absorbed or began to use the Egypto alphabet by repercussion, adopted their religious system according to alphanumerics, where the word pyramid became rescripted into the name Olympia, which also has the value of 631. So Mount Olympia became the Greek pyramid, and here's a visual picture of this. The sun became Helios, which is a cipher for 318, which is also the value of theta, and the moon became Selene, which is a value of 301. So 301 plus 318 equals 619, and this refers to, or this is the, the word value of Delphi. In other words, this is the Greek delta, or Delphi is a cipher for this. And the waters here, the Oki Anos is the Greek word for the Nile River. The K here refers to Kappa, and it's the clock letter. And here we see in Greek mythology, the lotus became rewritten as the island eaters who eat lotuses. And in 2200A, Hebrew mythology, we wrote this, or we wrote the pyramid in terms of the story of Moses going on Mount Sinai to get the laws. Here we see Moses on top of the mountain with his two horns, and this is a rescript of the horns of the Apis bull. And he has to go on top of Mount Sinai for 40 days. So 40, again, is the, the moral letter M number. And Osiris is the, who, is the crop god who dies at age 28. 28 being the number letters of the alphabet becomes rewritten into the, into the character of Moses. And 
Sinai becomes the new Hebrew pyramid. And this is a cipher for the Jihad pillar, which is the Hebrew letter S, which is the backbone of Osiris. The two falcon horse letters here are I, and N is the end band of the Nile River. So together this equals 130, the word S Sinai, and 130 is a cipher for, in Hebrew, I. And in Greek, it's the cipher for violet. And this refers to the fact that the, the eye of Ra, the lowest part of the rainbow is violet, or the, low, the, the shortest wavelength is 400 to 420 nanometers. So all the, this is a cipher for <clears throat> Moses climbing onto Mount Sinai, and looking into the eye of God to get the new Ten Commandments. And over here we have Hebrew word for mountain, which is H-E plus R. In Hebrew, this is value 200. This is called the Theban R, but in the original Egypto-Greek R, it's value 100. So 100 plus 5 equals 105, and this in Greek is elix, which is a symbol of the ram horn in the sun. So Moses has to go on top of Ra Mountain to get the new letter M morals for the Hebrew society. And here we see <clears throat> that Ra becomes Abraham and that Noah's flood starts at age 600. And this 600 is a value of the cosmos in Egyptian. Here we have the Hindu version of this, which came later. We see the lotus petals here. We see Ra, the phoenix sun god here. And we see the four layers of the Ogdod waters here. We see a moon rabbit and a seven-step pyramid. And this is the word in Sanskrit. And again, we see the letter M, Moral Mountain. Lastly, the Arabic rescript is shown here. So just like Moses, who has to climb on Mount Sinai and stay there for 40 days, Muhammad has to be age 40. In other words, to match the sickle letter M, or morals, which is, defines how a society gets its food, becomes rescripted as the Islamic Osiris. And when he's on this mountain at age 40, here we see people climbing up here. He goes into a cave where supposedly an angel named Gabriel, a.k.a. the Islamic Thoth, the 28, inventor of the 28 letters, speaks to Muhammad the laws of the Quran or of Islamic society. And the name of this mountain is translated as Mount or Jabal of Nur or Mount of, of Light. But if we look at the letters, we see that Jabal the translate, which is translated as mountain, is the based on the Egyptian letter G or Jab, the Earth God, and Nut, the Heaven Goddess, and letter L, the mouth opening tool letter. And then A is the Ho, thirty again, mountain of Al Nur. So here we see that. Letter R is Resh in Arabic, and this is specifically called the Ra letter. But again, it has a value 200 because it's the Theban, Theban rescript of the numbers, which is found in Hebrew and Arabic past the 90 value letter. And then Y, again, is your moral, your moral choice letter. And then Ra, where the sun is born out of the flood, which is letter N. And here we see the symbol of Islam 
is the moon, crescent moon, and the star Sirius. 28 days, 28 letters.